What's happening, people? So, Yorkshire County Cricket Club uh, is in absolute tatters right now. Since my last video, uh, Nike, their major kit supplier, have pulled the plug. Uh, we signed a four-year deal a few months ago, but they pulled the plug. Um, it, it, it's terrible. It look, it, it, I mean, I think um, Harrogate Water, Tetley Bitter, they're all either pulling the plugs because it's, I think, oh, not new, renew the deals. Renew the deals anyway. So it's looking very, very onerous now for Yorkshire County Cricket Club. It looks like they've probably gone to administration. Uh, I think they'll get the book thrown at home by ECB. ETB apparently have, have given no real support leading up to this. I mean, Roger Hutton, the chairman, has now resigned. Obviously, it's big news. Um, he doesn't get away scot free, Paul's been concerned. Obviously, I appreciate his statement. Uh, he, he showed, he looked like he obviously read quite sympathetic towards Rafiq situation. Obviously, saying, Well, I wasn't here, you know, I wasn't a part of this. I only joined 18 months ago. Rafiq left in 2018. Yes, that's true, but let's not forget that the law firm that was appointed to investigate into this uh, claim brought against Yorkshire was Patton Squires, Squires Boggs, I believe, and Roger Hutton used to work there. So he got his own cronies in to protect his position, protect his club. Um, do you appreciate yourself, Arthur and Martin Moxon? I always thought it was a bit of a scumbag, to be honest. Came across a bit of a scumbag back in, in his playing days for Yorkshire. Uh, he's called for them to resign, team management to resign. Obviously, he didn't get uh, support from them, apparently, according to a statement, because he acknowledged the fact that changes need to be made within the club. Um, this is a case of the highest level of institutional racism, which is what needs to be adhered to here. And Rafiq is right about that. It's not about individuals. Obviously, balance has been exposed now. And I genuinely thought it's balance. I told someone that before it came out. I thought it was like Gary Balance because it's a current senior player from back then. So it kind of wills down quite a bit because the team's changed a lot for the last five years. Um, so Gary Balance the one for me. I just felt with his character, just what I've seen in the past, that's probably what was him and it was him. Um, this statement was, I felt, pathetic. Uh, but sorry, not sorry. Um, you know... Um, Back to the whole, he said things that should have been said, you know, Zimbos. I mean, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? For that as a retort to for a, for a, for a white person to call an Asian person a Paki is not on. It's that simple. It's not on. And don't try and just fight saying, well, he called me a Zimbo. You know, it's like a South African guy saying, don't call me a Safa. An English guy saying, don't call me a Pom. Don't call me a Pom, you racist bastard. You're not a Pom. You know what I mean? It's pathetic. It's embarrassing. You talk about clutching at straws. So, anyway, uh, these people need to take it to task. I mean, obviously, I know Garabalt's been um, uh, he's been spending from England um, selection. Definitely, he will never play for England ever again. It doesn't matter if he scores two thousand runs next year. It doesn't matter. He will not be play. He will not play again. He will not play again. Not to be a part of this whole massive scandal, which is picked up such massive traction over the last 48, 72 hours. I mean, it's on the front and back pages of a lot of non-critting publications, which shows how the story's now got the gravitas it deserves. I said, it's a case of institutional racism at one of the, the, most, uh, the most iconic county clubs in the whole of the English cricket game. Um, and the refuse to change, it seems, is what's embarrassing. Now, Colin Gray's once of a stint, that, to me, is a fucking no-no. That is gonna make this thing so much worse that that you are just basically out of frying pans to the fire scenario there you're encouraging you know colin graves was there during a lot of time obviously rafiq's uh, tenure in both the stints so we do not want colin graves come back here they want change you have to go with someone else completely i think you've got is it lord himlish patel um as the interim a chairman, so okay, fine. You know, if it's to be him, apparently he's close to Grace, so maybe someone else. But there needs to be a, a complete overhaul of the manager structure. Garabouts needs to be fired. Fucking letting about to wherever he wants. Fucking what's Zimbabwe? Go and play club cricket here. Who gives a fuck? We don't care. So, um, yeah, fuck you, Gary Balance, straight up. So, um, anyway, that's you know where I'm at with this whole thing. It's it just it, it, incredible story. I did a video last year, a year ago side to my own problems uh, and sufferings that I had at very much a grassroots basic club level, but in the north, they're very much a northern English town. Um, and that's what I, I suffered. So I do understand a lot of what Rafiq has gone through, even though it was a few years later. I'm almost 10 years older than Rafiq, but I know exactly what he's referring to, that is banter. Like I said, it ain't fucking banter when English people, white English people, are calling you packy and calling you curry munching, calling you various other bits and pieces. This guy's banter. It's not banter. It fucking hurts, I can tell you. So let's get it right. White people call Asian people packy and this and that. 
never going to be cool. It's never going to be banter. Never, ever. Is never, has never, will never be fucking banter. But like Rafiq said, to be fair, it's institutional racism here that what needs to be dealt with. It's not about individuals. That's systemic, really, of the culture that's been kind of bred within this club. And it's a cancerous culture that's been bred in Yorkshire, as we know, for the last 10 years. But I'm sure it's gone on for decades and decades so, yeah, anyway, I'll leave it there. It's a long bit, this one. It's going straight to Instagram. If you stuck by me for the last five and a half minutes, I appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, anyway, that's it, guys. Um, I'll leave it there. And let's see how uh, this story continues to develop.